Are you planning on being a dancer or idol? Ideal type. Are you full time content creator? <sighs> oh god. Hello. Today I'll be doing a QA video. A couple days ago, I asked you guys to send me questions on my Instagram stories, so today I'll be answering them. First one, I'll first answer some of the easier questions about me. What's your nationality or ethnicity? I was actually born in China. I am Chinese and I think a lot of people don't know about this but Chinese is actually my first language. English is my second language so sometimes you might hear like the Chinglish coming out here and there. So I still have some like accents sometimes. Let me give you guys a little backstory. I came to the States when I was like 14 years old. So I wouldn't really consider myself like American or fob. Like I'm kind of like in between. So it's like very weird, like awkward. I'm, I'm kind of like half fob and then half Asian American. Next one is how old are you? How old do I look? I'm actually 23 years old. How tall are you? Only 5'3", which is 160 centimeters. A lot of you guys probably think I'm really tall from like my videos, but I'm just really good at like setting the angle and stuff. My friend KU asked me, what's your MBTI? <laughs> ENFP, which is campaigner, I believe. If you know me in real life, you know that I'm pretty obsessed with MBTI. Like I love asking people whenever I first meet them, just because it's usually pretty accurate. What got you into content creation? I think it was around when COVID started, everyone was just like bored at home. That's when a lot of people started posting on TikTok and stuff. Some of my friends were like, you should post on TikTok. And I was like, oh, sure, why not? So I started posting on TikTok. I was just doing it for fun. Like I was posting consistently. And then one day my videos started blowing up and that's when I started just like keep posting consistently. How do you handle the social media popularity, negativity or stalking? I feel like it's definitely hard to not let the hate comments get to you, especially I'm a very sensitive and like emotional person. Personally, I usually get pretty upset even though I don't get that many hate comments. It's always like that one hate comment stick out to you, you know? I think over time I learned to not care too much about it because they don't really know you. I actually saw this TikTok and it was like the 80-20 rule. There's 80% people in your life just gonna love you for who you are and there's always that 20% of people, no matter what you do, they're just gonna not like you. So why do you care to put so much of your energy to those 20% people? When do you start dancing? So I actually started dancing when I was six. I started doing Latin dance when I was six years old. So I did that for six years and then I transitioned to hip-hop, k-pop after I graduated elementary school. What got you into dancing? I feel like dancing has always just been very natural to me. When I was a kid, I would always watch dancing shows so I would just like start moving to the music. I don't know, I just like always like dancing. Are you still in college? The answer is no. I graduated in 2021. So I already graduated like over a year. Not sure if it's TMI, are you full-time content creator at the moment? I am a full-time content creator for now. Ever since I graduated, I never got a full-time job just because I felt like I wanted to pursue my passion, which is what I'm doing now. And I really want to put in all my efforts and like see if this is gonna go anywhere further. What is your ideal type? Okay, I like guys that's matured, ambitious, funny. If they're talented, that's a bonus. <laughs> also kind, loyal, honest. Honestly, just like like being like a nice person. If they're tall, that's also a bonus. <laughs> I like tall guys, even though I'm not that tall, but you know, a girl can dream. But anyways, did you once audition to become a trainee? Yes, I did audition once, only once, which is in 2018. I actually did a video on this. It was when I went to the SM Globe Audition in New York. Are you planning on being a dancer or idol? Ever since I was young, I've always wanted to become an idol. Over the years, I just never had the courage to like go for it. Always felt like, oh, there's so many talented people in the world. Why me? Also, I have very reserved Asian parents. So yeah, my mom also never really let me pursue it. I've only auditioned once. I kind of wish I'd audition more when I was like younger. My answer would be if there's an opportunity that will come in the future, I would be down to go for it. If you could be any occupation you want, what would it be and why? It would be on stage to be a performer. And I honestly miss performing a lot. 
How do you film your videos? With your phone or do you use a specific camera? I do not use any camera. I only use my phone. I'm actually filming on my iPhone because I don't have a professional camera yet. So currently I'm using the iPhone 14 Pro Max. To be fair, like the iPhone camera is pretty good. Quality is like pretty high quality. If you're just starting out on content creation, I suggest you to just like use iPhone and honestly work. What is your favorite store to buy clothes? Any recommendations? Um, I only shop at a certain stores. I don't have that many stores that I go to. I would say my usual go-to are Zara, H&M. I feel like H&M used to have more cute stuff, but not recently. Like they still have some cute stuff though. Yeah, Zara, H&M. Uh, let me think, what else? Sometimes Yes Style. Yes Style is kind of like a hit or miss, but they do have some cute stuff, except the shipping can take a while. I can't think of any right now, but those are my go-to usually. How to get over a relationship that is very toxic for us. <laughs> Not that I am a, you know, expert in dating, but just for myself, like I think the key is to really just focus on yourself. Once you start dating, it's very easy to be dependent on the other person or you start kind of like losing yourself. So I think the most important thing for you to do is to improve yourself, have more self-love, do more meditation or even go to a therapist or talk to your friends or even just go to the gym, read books. There's so many resources like videos online so many so many ways but i feel like once you start really just focusing on yourself and really just have more alone time and love yourself tips or advice on going from dark hair to light hair so when i first started filming or like posting online i had literally like black hair so i did change a lot in these past few years when you first start dyeing your hair obviously it takes like multiple sessions for your hair to get to like a really really light color so it honestly took took me like probably at least several times if you want pastel color or a lighter color you definitely need to dye it like multiple times to really get that like best result once i start dyeing my hair a lot more i don't wash my hair as much just because it's like technically bad if you wash it too much also if you want to keep the hair color longer you just can't wash it that much and then definitely use the olaplex or hair mask yeah just make sure you take care of your hair a lot are you planning on staying in new york for a while. To be honest, I don't really know. I feel like I don't really belong or like I don't really fit in the New York vibe just because I'm not necessarily a very fast paced person. I honestly kind of prefer to just like be like chill and like calm. It makes me feel really anxious being here sometimes just because in New York everyone's like go 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 like that mentality and I feel like Sometimes that stress me out. So yeah, who knows? Maybe I'll move to somewhere else next year. <laughs> are you starting YouTube for real? Like, are you gonna post regularly? Good question because my goal for the next year, 2023, is definitely to post more on YouTube. Yay! <laughs> feel like I don't feel fulfilled just making short form content anymore. All you guys see is dancing, doing funny videos. That's not enough. I want to build a real relationship with you guys. Let you guys get to know me more. Hopefully actually have a close community. All right, last one is what contents can we expect on this channel? Lifestyle stuff like vlogs, get ready with me, makeup stuff, fashion. I'll still post my dance videos and sing videos oh that's a lot <laughs> thank you so much for watching and i'm so excited to show you guys more content on my youtube channel make sure you subscribe and like so you don't miss the future videos bye bye i'll see you guys next time <sighs> oh god this is getting me out of breath i've never filmed a talking video for this one